That's just way too hot. Hey everyone. So yeah, I'm playing with an Avalon Nano 3, graciously given to me by Rondi. Thanks, buddy. And I've done already the Red Panda add um, heat sinks to the power stage inside here. That's good. Took out the screens, so it flows better in the front and back. But, of course, anyone who has this knows, you don't have fan control. The fan speed is set automatically. And running 85C on the actual uh, ASIC chips themselves, it's just not a good idea. There's no real reason for it to be running that hot. So, there's two ways you can go about getting more air through this unit to help it cool better. One is you open it up, and the fan, the four pin fan connector, you can cut the yellow wire, which is your PWM to the fans, and run these fans at 100%. That's not good because it's loud. This is meant to be a quiet unit, and I prefer a quiet unit. And second, these fans running at 100%, they don't last very long. There's a tons and tons of information out there about people just having their fans die because they're running it on high. Me personally, I am reusing a power supply that I use for Caspa miners. And that has USB-C 28 volt up to 100 watts. So I am running this unit in medium mode right now, mining uh, Bitcoin Cash Solo. I haven't hit anything yet. But the other way to help cool it down is over here. 3D printed this little box out I found. Uh, I will put a link down below for the STL file. And I took one of the 5-volt fans that I originally had on one of my Caspo miners that has the adapter that goes to USB. And then I have another adapter that goes from USB-A to USB-C. Reason being is I'm going to use the same Caspa power supply because it did originally have the big output right here by my finger. If I can get right there, that's what you use to power that. It also has two high-power USB-Cs. I'm going to use a second USB-C to power that fan and just make it all one unit. So let me go ahead and put that together real quick. Okay, so I took off the back cover by the fans, and you literally just push this up to it. You don't even attach it or anything. Plug it into the 5-volt. Let's see if I can get around here enough uh, to show you the fans running. I don't think I can get that far back, but it just started running. So, if we come on over here and take a look at the temperatures, already down to 78C from 85C and 25C for the ambient temperature inside the unit itself. So, let's give it just one minute, because right now we are at 1 hour, 55 minutes and 53 seconds. Let's give it one minute and see where the temperatures are at. Okay, so one minute later. So... One hour, 56 minutes, and 51 seconds. You can see the fans are still spinning about 1,700 to 1,900 RPM. We need those spinning because if they're not spinning, this miner will not mine. But you can see we've already come up a little bit on the regular ambient temperatures, 27C, because we're moving more air through there. But look at the ASIC temperature. They're down to 64C already. And right now we have a real-time hash rate of 3.13 tera hash with an average of 305. I'm going to restart this, reboot it, and then let it run for an hour because I think I get slightly better hash rate when the, ha when the um, ASICs are running a little cooler. So I'll be back in an hour. Okay, so we're 16 minutes into this, and I wanted to put this bit of information that I found out before we go through the full hour. If you look down here, you can see that the hash rate was really low, like less than a terahash for a while, and all of a sudden it jumped up. Well, the reason, apparently there's something in the software, it will not allow the hash rate to go up until the ASIC chips hit at least 60C. So keep that in mind when you turn on your unit, you may need to keep the fan away from it just for a few minutes to get the ASIC chips warm enough but right now you can see a 16 minutes that's running a 62C on the ASIC chips, 63 and 35 for the ambient. And we just jumped up to 3.25 terahash. Let's let it finish for another 45 minutes and we'll come back. Okay, so we're just over an hour after finishing ramen. 
for lunch with my kids and we can see my real-time hash rate is 3.23 terahashes average of 2.75 that's because it was really slow there for the first 15 minutes that average will eventually come up but you can see i got a slight more real-time hash rate because the chips are running so much cooler much cooler 20 26c for the inside temperature and then 60c on the actual ASIC chips themselves. And the thing is, it's still quiet. It's the five volt fan that you used to use on CASPA miners that runs at five volts. Oh, five volts, duh. Said that twice already now. Uh, only spins like, what, 1800 RPM? So it's still nice and quiet. Just got to back off and I can feel the extra focus. Uh, the extra air coming through here, and it's still warm, but it's not nearly as hot as it was before, and there's more force to it. So this should give a lot more longevity to this device itself, and it gives me a better peace of mind, because 85C um, ASIC chips, yeah, that just doesn't sit right with me. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I will see you next video.